All right, well, I've been working on the motorcycle here again. I got all the kind of the, the fairings and various parts over there kind of just sitting on that rug there, just littered around. And here are the battery racks so far. So I got the two main towers done. And I'm working on the front one right now, the third rack slash tower. And you can see here it's holding batteries. Um, the back one is, and the back one here and the middle one here are, you know, they're all bolted up, but they're just not tight. It's just hand tight. And uh, so I was originally hoping to mount uh, five batteries on the middle rack just down here. You can see how it's a bit longer than the other ones. But it turns out that there's not going to be quite enough room. It's really close. But it turns out this big bulkhead here is just a bit too big on the corners. So the batteries won't quite fit on the sides. So I'm just going to have to put four there again like the other other rows. So uh, yeah, like I, I could put five and I could chisel this out a little bit, but I, I really don't want to do that because this is a, you know, a key structural area of the bike, so it's not a good idea. So I'm just going to put four and uh, call her good. And so yeah, overall this bike's going to have uh, 24 of these batteries, and that works out pretty good. It's a nice round number. And uh, I also have, I have 26 batteries, so I'll just have two spares, which is pretty handy. Uh, so yeah, so there's going to be two in the bottom there where that, you can see that little slat. There's going to be two sitting here. And then on the next level there's going to be four. I'm just going to kind of lop this off again, make it the same as the other ones. And there's going to be three right at the top here, as you can see. This battery fits right there. And I still have to make the rack for the front part of that one. Which is going to be pretty unique because I'm going to have to use these two holes here and uh, bring some bring a support down of some sort I think so that would be pretty strange or I might be able to use these bolts but they're at kind of a weird angle or right, sort of these um, threaded inserts but they're kind of at a weird angle so I don't know how I'm going to get that to work and then aside from that um, I need to make another small rack back here for three more batteries to fit like this so but uh, yeah it's coming along nicely I'm just going to go make a store run, hardware store run, and get some nuts and bolts because I'm missing a few that I need. But other than that, uh, it's coming along really good. So it should be, it's moving along good. So it should be done pretty soon here. And it's looking really nice. I'm really liking this layout. So, And the tank fits on top and everything's in that, in that respect all good. The fairings still fit on perfectly fine and you, you can't see any of the internal stuff. So that's all good. And yeah, it's just, it's turning out really well. And I think this will end up working out really well because uh, with these, with the gaps in between the batteries here, it's, you know, it's enough gap that you can fit a tool in there and tighten up the, uh, the bolt. But, uh, you know, it's not excessive space, but it's enough that you can get in there and tighten it up while it's on the bike. So that's good. And uh, yeah, I think this will work out really nice in the end. And uh, yeah, I'm glad I chose these batteries in the end because man, I uh, pretty much can't fit any other batteries in here. There's pretty much no way. Space is pretty limited in, in here. Like once all these batteries are in here, it'll just be one solid block of batteries and there's not much room for anything else. There'll be just enough room to get my BMS stuff in here and and the wires and that's about it. So it's pretty optimized. I'm liking this. All right, well, as usual, I'll get back to you when I have more.